Hello, welcome to Inside the Pride. My name is Joe Contreras, and I am one of the play-by-play broadcasters for Vanguard Athletics and the host of this series here on the Vanguard Athletics Podcast Network. Today, we are going to get an inside look at our stunt program. I'll be asking them a series of who is most likely to questions to get an inside look at the heart of the team. Thank you for joining me today. Now let's get inside the pride and look and meet the team. Please go around and state your name, year, hometown, and major. Hi, I'm Amaya Quintero. I'm a sophomore from Placentia, California, and I'm a psychology major. Hi, I'm Tatum Thompson. I'm a first year. I'm from Austin, Texas, and my major is business. Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm a freshman. Um, My hometown is Costa Mesa and my major is nursing. Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm a sophomore. I'm from Garden Grove and my major is liberal studies. Hi, my name is Skye. I'm a freshman. My hometown is Roseville and my major is film. Hi, I'm Monique. Um, I'm a freshman and my hometown is Santa Ana, California and I'm an environmental science major. Hi, I'm Dakota. I'm a junior. I'm from Coors Gold, California, and I'm a marketing major. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm from Corona, California. I'm a freshman, and I'm a sociology major. Hi, my name is Angelina. I'm a sophomore. I'm from San Diego, and I'm a nursing major. Hi, my name is Grayson. I am a freshman. I live in Tulare, California, and I am a history poli-sci major. Hi, my name is Jocelyn Ibarra. I'm from Corona, California, and I'm a business major. My name is Rebecca M, and I'm a freshman. I'm from Costa Mesa High School. I'm from Costa Mesa, and I'm a biology major. I just know if Kayla's not here. Okay, I'm Jenny Jones. I'm a senior. I'm from Sacramento, California, and I'm a psychology major. I'm Maggie, I'm a junior. Um, I'm from Lake Elsinore, California, and I'm a business major. Hi, my name is Polonia. I am a senior, and I'm from San Ramon, California, and my major is history and political science. Hi, I'm Bailey. I'm a sophomore. I'm from Colorado Springs, Colorado, and I am a business major. I'm Joriana Hazel. I'm from Chicago, Illinois, and I'm a music major. Um, I'm Brenna, and I am from Sacramento, California, and I'm a kinesiology major. Um, hi, my name is Sarah. I'm from Johns Creek, Georgia. I'm a junior, and I am a business administration major. Hi, my name is Abby. I'm a junior. I'm from Downey, California, and I'm a kinesiology major. Hi, my name is Amanda, and I am a senior, and I am from Whittier, California, and my film, or my major is film. Hi, my name is Marissa. I'm a senior from El Dorado Hills, California, and I'm a biology major. Hi, I'm Jalen. I'm a freshman. I'm from LA, and I am a psych major. Hi, I'm Angelina. I'm a sophomore. I'm from Whittier, California, and I'm a communications major. Okay, cool. Um, Hi, my name's Haley. I'm a sophomore. I'm from Tulare, California, and I'm a business administration major. And I think that's it. Awesome. Coach, do you want to introduce yourself a little bit? Um, hi, I'm April. I'm an assistant coach for the stunt team. I graduated Vanguard last year um, and I was a marketing major. Thank you. Was there any other players that we missed by any chance? I think uh, we just have some absent girls, but I think we have everyone who's on the call. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. It's so great to meet all of you. Um, Let's get into some of the questions that we have for today. So first and foremost, you know, music is awesome. A lot of people listen to music. It's their haven, you know. Music has the power to do a lot of things. Now, who on the team would you say has the best taste in music? Definitely Maggie, for sure. 
because she's in charge of the like playlists and she always plays like early 2000s music like you know the Justin Bieber high school musical era I would have to give a lot of that credit to Jamie. She sent me like 90% of those songs. So plot twist, it wasn't me. But <laughs> <laughs> What would be the kind of go-to song um, if you were to create a playlist, Maggie? Or Jamie, who, who wants to claim that title? Maggie can claim it. Kind of our theme this year would be like the show goes on so i know we have that in there by um what kind of music would be included you kind of mentioned it would be like high school musical early 2000s type of music what other music would be included in that playlist we have a lot of like jonas brothers action going on some stuff from high school musical from our um entry to what was that called what did we do it's like the talent show between the athletic teams. We did like a high school music. Oh, one. we're all in this together. Yeah, we did like <laughs> yeah from that. Um, and then yeah, a lot of throwback music. So a lot of like Beyonce and I don't even know like Dusty's Child and stuff. So yeah, that sounds like an amazing playlist. Um, what is the one go-to song if you had to get pumped up or get in the mood for a game or a match? What would that song be? I'm not quite sure. We kind of just get hyped to whatever's going before a game. We honestly just play anything and then we just feed off of each other's energy and then that's what gets us like hyped up for a game or a practice or whatever. That's awesome. Um, music is important. Um, whoever's making that playlist, they better bring it when it comes to game day. Moving on into our next question that we have. Um, now, traditionally, a wedding is very um, romantic and supposed <laughs> to start on time, you know, um, but sometimes people show up late. Um, I'm not going to say, but I had a family member show up an hour and an hour and a half late to their own wedding. Um, so who on this team is most likely to be late to their own wedding? Micah. 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 <laughs> Micah is definitely going to be late. Micah or Jory. <laughs> yes. Micah is not even here to defend herself, too. <laughs> why? Why? Why would Micah be late to the wedding? She's late to everything. Pictures, oh, probably a game, <laughs> practice, <laughs> everything. <laughs> is there anyone else on this team other than Micah that would be late to their own wedding? Jory. <laughs> <laughs> Joy would be late too. Because <laughs> then when she does get there, she just walks super slow. <laughs> and then she's like, I'm here. <laughs> the the party doesn't start until you get there, right, Jory? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. Um now Jory, have you you've been late to practices, I'm assuming, or why would why would your team say that? Yeah, I was late to a couple of practices. I was late to pictures too. <laughs> no, it, ha it happens. It happens. What's what's the the weirdest thing you've been late to, or like the thing that stands out the most? Um, I don't know. I was almost late to my graduation. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't, my fault. it wasn't my fault. But I was almost late to my graduation. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, I can't I can't say anything about that because I was almost late to my eighth grade promotion ceremony. Um, it <laughs> happens, you know, it happens. Um, it's a part of life. Um, now, you know, cooking is, you know, everyone likes a good meal, right? Now, if you were to have an important date with a significant other, who on this team would you choose to make the meal for you? Who can cook? Who goes down in the kitchen? Sarah Kate. makes some really good pasta. 
Chimay. Caitlin makes desserts like nobody's business. Yeah, Caitlin's a baker over here. Caitlin is baker. Yeah, so anything more than like cookies. <laughs> <laughs> They're darn good. So Sarah actually, and Caitlin Jamie, are going to team up. Jamie can actually cook pretty well too. Because I've had some of her food and it's pretty fire. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So Sarah, if you had to make a meal, what would it be for two important people? What would what would you make? Probably some breakfast tacos. I love those. <laughs> what would what would be included in this breakfast taco? Um, okay. So you get some like corn tortillas, like the small ones. And then you put like some chorizo and some scrambled eggs. Ten out of ten with some hot sauce. Delicious. <laughs> what what kind of hot sauce, Sarah? <laughs> Cholula. That's the only way to go. Nothing else. <laughs> I respect that. I can respect that. Now, Jamie, if you were chosen, what would you make? I feel like my go-to is either always some kind of pasta mix or salmon, because salmon's phenomenal, and I think it's the top-tier fish. Um, but I probably would go with pasta, and I usually throw, like, shrimp or, like, chicken in it, and I prefer shrimp over chicken, so probably some pasta with shrimp and some kind of like Parmesan or Alfredo sauce. It was really good. Wow, that does sound really good. Um, Caitlin, what dessert would you make? Kind of cake. Um, if I don't have to eat it, I'll make a cheesecake because I heard they're good, but I won't eat my own cheesecake. <laughs> what kind of cheesecake would you make? Um, just like your classic. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, that's what it is. I don't know. You can never go wrong with cheesecake. Um, it's a, definitely a delicious item. Now, kind of moving into our next question. Um, in sports there is always superstition, right? Somebody on the team feels like they have to wear the same socks for every match or game or they're going to lose or show up on time or find a rhythm to the game or try to beat the system somehow or find a rhythm that will help them succeed. Who on the team is the most superstitious? Dakota. <laughs> yeah, for sure, Dakota. <laughs> what? No. I would say yeah. Dakota I has know. to be it's like in a certain spot group. when we're doing everything. I do have to be oh, in a yeah, certain spot. And our warm up has to be the same. Can I <laughs> eat certain things and drink certain things before she does anything? You drink your Red Bulls or whatever. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. That's just like energy, though. That's not a superstition. I just drink those every day. Come on. <laughs> So, Maggie, that's more of a habit than a yeah. thing that you need to do in order to win? I mean, I should probably do it if they want me to be awake. Now I'm dependent on Red Bulls, but okay. So, yeah, no, definitely a bad habit, though. <laughs> Not even <laughs> And Dakota, um, that sounds kind of like superstition to me. Um, what, what exactly is that routine or what, what is it that you have to do? It's just like a little stunting warm up that like my group has to do every single time. Otherwise we have like a bad practice or something. Even ask them, like if we don't do that warm up, we just don't have a good day. <laughs> Welcome back. Unfortunately, I had some technical difficulties. And so me and Joe will kind of walk you through the answers of the footage that we cannot recover from Zoom. So we had four questions left after what you guys seen. And the first one was who on the team would most likely star in a reality TV show. And kind of the team consensus for that was Skylar Pantelaglo. Sorry if I'm butchering that. She was a little hesitant to be in her own reality TV show, but she was like much more open to um, creating one and, and kind of being behind the scenes and uh, 
really like developing her own type of reality show as opposed to being on it. But the consensus would would be Skylar to star in a reality TV show. And I think that Love Island was also a show that she really expired and really enjoyed um, watching. And that was probably the same type of show that she would produce if she was um, to do a reality TV show. The next question that we had was who on the team has an artistic talent? Now, right off the bat, everyone shouted Sarah, um, Sarah Skimmy. Um, And now they said that she was good at singing. A lot of people have hidden talents um, and she was one of them on the team and she sung the national anthem before. And then also um, there was somebody else on the team that could rap, but we can't manage to remember who that was. Um, so if that was you, feel free to um, put it on the Instagram. Um, we'll love to see that talent. Um, and then also there was a, a dancer in the group, um, Angelina Hargrove. Um, she mentioned that she's done tons of quinces. And if you were interested in um uh, a choreographer, a choreographer for a quince, um, to f- email her, um, without a doubt, she is a go-to person for anything dance. Awesome. And then we asked who would be the best person to walk by your side as you're walking into a haunted house. And immediately Amaya Quintero was singled out as she was a feisty one of the group and would likely fight the actors that were inside the haunted house. Um, they stated that Abby Rhodes would walk silently through the house with like little emotion because she just has the nerves of steel. And then Dakota Pittinger would not enter the house and would be waiting outside with my co-host Joe Contreras as they both do just not enjoy the experience of haunted houses. Yeah, you won't pay me enough to get close to one of those. Um, and our last question that we had was if you had a uh, to have a teammate take a photo for your wedding, who would you trust the most to capture the special day? And right off the bat, without any hesitation, uh, Jalen Enriquez um, volunteered herself as the professional photographer of the group. Um, she has she has experience in whatever, um, anything that you can imagine a photographer would take pictures in. Um, And we kind of urged, we wanted to allow the audience um, to have an opportunity to book um, a a photography lesson or a um, a session with her. But unfortunately, she's booked for a year out in advance. So if you want to take uh, or have a professional photographer, um, Jalen Enriquez is the person. uh, But make sure that you book now for two years down the road, um, because that is about the only thing that is available. And... um, That was about it for the rest of our conversation. We are so disappointed that we were not able to bring you the footage. Um, It was a great time, Um, but we want to encourage you to continue to support the stunt program this season. We thank you for tuning in and until next time, stay inside the prize.